I'm finally back home. I'm here with a full battery and I guess I'm just gonna sit down and talk to you guys about everything. My name is Jocelyn, this is my channel, and I look like a horrible disaster. It has been almost a week since I have moved home, and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about everything that's been going on. I do want to share with you guys everything that has been going on, because obviously things haven't been going well because I transferred and I couldn't do YouTube, so... I'm going to be telling you today everything that's been going on. I'll probably start at the beginning of my entire freshman year at Winona State. I had an amazing summer last summer. I went to VidCon for the first time, got close with Michaela, and then that led to me meeting like Brittany and Kiara at VidCon, which was awesome. So that was like opening new doors for me through YouTube and I was really excited. I was excited to be posting about college. Yeah, so I had my dorm hall, my move-in vlog, and then after that school started and I just kind of put YouTube on the back burner. Besides YouTube, like everything seemed fine. A lot of things happened within that first semester of college because I realized that I really didn't like being in my film major and I think that's just because I like having my own freedom to make my own videos and I don't like being directed. I felt like I was being held in a box and I couldn't really be creative. I ended up making quite a few friends. I made really close friends with the people in my dorms. I ended up going to a continuous open bidding event for my sorority and then I got a bid for my sorority so that opened doors for so many new friends so I'm so thankful that I met them. I honestly, like I wouldn't be here, like I really wouldn't be here without my sorority so shout out to everybody that helped me. Just to sum up my first semester is that I ended up realizing that I wasn't happy. But a variety of different issues that I wanted to change, um, one of them which I have no problem talking about is that I did want to switch my major and that was a big thing is that I wanted to switch my major. I got accepted to Winona State University with I think it was like pre-physician's assistant. I don't know why that was just so random. <laughs> I just kind of like decided to go into that and I was I, I realized I did not want to be a physician's assistant so then I was like, you know what, I'm going to do what I really want to do and I'm going to go into film. That is something I've always wanted to do. I love YouTube and VidCon really inspired me so I wanted to be a filmmaker. Whether that be like making small videos, being on a network such as like BuzzFeed or Clever or like even something else. I don't know, I thought it would be awesome and it ended up not meeting my expectations. But actually I ended up joining a club in my mass communications because um, film was in mass communications. So mass communications, I have... I joined a club and it was an advertising club and I thought it was so cool. We got to go to Minneapolis and tour a bunch of agencies and I was like, this is where I want to be, this sounds so cool, I feel like I can be creative and it's also very like professional. So for a while there I did think I was going to be an advertising major but that ended up not working out because I kind of realized what everything, like what it all entailed and I just, I didn't feel right about it and I never really pursued that at all because before the end of my first semester I ended up going talking to an advisor who did help me a lot. She helped me so much even through the end of this last semester she helped me so much. I ended up switching from advertising to sociology and I was really interested in this one class that I did take. It was interpersonal communications. I loved the study of knowing like like about people and like why we interact and all these things. I love it. After talking it out I realized that I wanted to be in sociology so I, w I decided to go through the sociology major and that was my entire spring semester, my 2018 spring semester. So I ended up moving out of the dorms the end of my first semester, which was like beginning of December. And then I had my entire winter, I guess like my winter break from like December to the beginning of January. So I had a good month off, which I needed and I was so excited. Also like I ended my first semester with A's and B's. So it went it went good. I just wasn't happy with what I was studying, but I still was able to get through it and it I did well. I like definitely did well. So after ending that, I felt like I ended on a good note too for how much I felt like I needed to change. So I came back and I moved into my sorority house and I was so excited. I ended up getting really close with people that I wasn't as close with before but I still like was friends with. Like if, without moving into the to the house I really would never have been as close with so many people which was awesome. I miss them all so much too. It's like only been a week and I miss them so much. 
I had such great friends and to this day they are such great friends everybody that I have got grown close with in sorority I felt like I was in a really good spot I was excited and then I started taking these classes and like I, I guess at the beginning of the semester I didn't really know it seemed good it seemed very good it seemed good compared to um, my first semester I also definitely have a history of depression and anxiety I deal, dealt with it Honestly, thinking back, I've dealt with it a lot longer than I have been diagnosed for. But long story short, I started realizing how bad things got and school just kind of fell and it was horrible. Mostly being that I had a really hard time going to class at first because I couldn't wake up because in the basement there's a lot of sunlight. My room didn't have windows and I don't know if that's like technically even a room, but like I was living in this room without windows, so I couldn't, I could not wake up. That was hard. That was so extremely difficult, and I didn't say anything to anybody for the longest time because I thought that, like, it wasn't that bad. Things just kind of, I guess with school, just got, it got so overwhelming. I was in this major that I kind of started realizing I didn't want to be in, and I didn't want to admit that to myself because it, I had already changed so many majors that I don't, I didn't know what I wanted, and I, there was no point in changing it at this point so that was really difficult for me so then my birthday came along and that was good for my birthday on I got so overwhelmed because midterms were coming up and my birthday is February 11th by the way and midterms and spring break were um first week of March I think second week of March I don't know I was getting overwhelmed with school I was not doing well I felt myself falling behind and that's obviously as a person who usually gets decent grades um that's really difficult to try to grasp your head around and see like what's going wrong like you have to pinpoint things and I had been thinking like oh, I just really don't think I like it here I don't like this town that much like I feel like I am stuck I want to go home I knew I was kind of not doing well I was also taking a psychology class which I don't know why I took it there was no reason for me to take it I think I was just seeing if I wanted to minor in it which I definitely did not want to because that psychology class was horrible and I I'm just not a big fan of psychology, but I, I don't know. It was just not a good class, so I went and talked to my advisor, and she advised me to drop the class if that's something that I wanted to do because I just needed to focus on these other classes for my major to make sure I'm doing well in them. And I ended up withdrawing from my psychology class, and that was really difficult to kind of, like, grasp. And, like, I didn't want to be someone who gave up, and that was hard, and I had to put my mind in a place where I realized that withdrawing from a class isn't the end of the world and as bad as it may look at, on a transcript it's not horrible so then after dropping that class I was so relieved I just had to get through my midterms and those went well actually I was surprised on how well they went I had spring break coming up and I promised myself I would do better afterwards like after I got back from spring break so I ended up going and visiting my aunt in Florida with my family. It's like my first time in Florida, so it was awesome and it was sunny, which is like completely different from the snowstorm we were having in Minnesota. It was awesome and we had so much fun and we got to be in the sun all the time. I felt so good for for once. I just felt so relieved, like I didn't have anything to worry about and that was amazing. I came back and I, within a, the first couple of days of being back, I just realized I absolutely hate it here and I'm talking more so about Winona like when I got back to school I just realized I I dislike it so much I was miserable I realized how miserable I truly was I could just feel myself falling back into depression and I definitely will make a video talking about this later on because I do want to make a mental health series like I said but I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression in 10th grade when I was really struggling with it and it was getting to the point where my anxiety and my depression were getting worse than I wanted to admit and they were going back to that point and the only reason I even realized it was that bad was because my friend Tori pointed that out for me and I, I it was so hard to grasp it was so difficult to grasp I thought about it for a good day or two and I mean I didn't even need that long to think about it I just knew that I needed to transfer and it was hard because I would be living with my friends, I would be leaving a sorority, so that was very hard and I ended up making the decision to tell my parents that I am coming home and I will be going to college at home. Yeah, and there's a lot of things going on with my mental health. I realized after that I ended up having to go to the doctor before I went on spring break actually. This is something I didn't mention, but I did go to the doctor. I ended up getting, getting put back on medication and I'm the kind of person who's really not super keen on being on medication just because it hasn't worked for me in the past and 
for me in the past it has made my symptoms worse and that it varies from person to person it might not happen for everybody like medication now really helps me but I was just in this dark hole and I was numb and I this is so weird to be saying to a camera <laughs> or even just to anybody watching this. This is just like really strange. It was just hard and it was something that I didn't really imagine for myself at all. This is something I definitely didn't see coming. I thought I was great. I had learned to cope with my anxiety in high school. I was doing better. A lot happened within those that like time too. I had to put our dog down and then my boyfriend at the time, him and I ended up breaking up and that was completely <laughs> kind of just hit me like a train a dog being put down and wanting to transfer and then the breakup and everything like it all happened within like a month and this is just really strange to be sharing on the internet but i mean i i feel like people like myself who like to benefit from watching others stories i think this is very beneficial because i don't know this is something i would always watch on youtube so i hope that this video can help you a little bit something that did affect my school a lot was all of these things happening at once i couldn't focus i was unmotivated it was difficult to fathom why i'm even doing this since i'm going to be transferring and i didn't want to be in the same major anyways so i mean it was hard and i felt like i was just a, such a failure and it was it was horrible and i felt like i was also losing myself i definitely felt like i was losing myself completely because not only was i sad and depressed and numb and just in a horrible mental spot but i was also just losing little bits of myself like obviously i dropped youtube which was such a big part of myself at the beginning of college like i promise you like it was something that I was so excited about la like the summer previous, last summer, and all of a sudden it was just something that I no longer did because I was too busy and I was too sad. And even when I tried to make videos, like, I was just not happy. I was not happy whatsoever. And it's hard. I can't put that on the internet. Like, for me, myself, I just, I could not put something so sad on the internet because it's not myself and I could tell that. So that's why I put it way in the back of my mind. And now, I mean, now I'm back, so I'm happy, but... I don't know. <laughs> Some of the things that did happen when I was down in that deep mental space, um, my anxiety really took over my life. Like, I, it's so hard for people who don't have anxiety, even people who do have anxiety, I think everybody deals with it differently and have, they have different things that happen to them. For me, I got so anxious about going to class, I don't know exactly why. I was just so unmotivated and scared for some reason. I think I was scared of failing, which in the long run ended up pushing me more towards failing, but I couldn't get up in the morning. I felt nauseous thinking about wanting to go to school. I felt like I was going to throw up. Anytime I got up, I was literally, I was so sick to my stomach thinking about going to school. I just was nauseous. I was just scared and I would like, I would just cry and I, would have anxiety attacks and this, these are all things that I mean I didn't really like to share openly and I honestly really didn't give my parents the full story of how I was feeling at college which I honestly should have because it was hard to deal with it all on my own for as long as I did. So I'm very happy that I ended up talking about it and making the decision for myself realizing what was making me upset. I'm so much happier now. I cannot even tell you like drastically from leaving last week. I am I'm almost to like 100% happiness level, which is actually insane because I never would have thought that the place I was last month at this time, I could even try to say that I was this good. It's just so amazing to me how drastically I have changed and I feel like all of these things have made me grow. I felt like I was just at, at rock bottom. Like I'm not even kidding you rock bottom and for some people this probably seems not as rock bottom but everybody's situation is different and that was my rock bottom um the darkest hole i have ever been in and it was horrible and it took a lot for me to realize all of that and it's not something you can fix overnight it is not something that you can give up on and it is 
it's something you definitely have to work towards and that was what I did. I had to get used to medication. I had to get through the last couple months of college. I'm excited to be moving forward and things are looking up for me so I hope that all of that made sense. Another thing is I feel just so weird sharing this with everybody because I know a lot of people from like from my hometown are going to be watching this and like high school and even people from college that I probably would never share this much information with. I feel so much better saying it and being open about it because I feel like I can help someone that way and if I can help anyone who is ever going through that situation that would make me feel 100 times better. It's just so much. It's so much to deal with at this age too. Um, I feel like so much is changing and you don't exactly know what you want for your life. Dealing with that much was hard and I am just proud and happy of myself that I got myself out of it but yeah that is the story of why I guess I'm transferring and what happened within this last year for me my freshman year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys can take something away from it. I hope maybe it helped you. I don't know I hope you maybe just enjoyed listening to my story but yeah so this is just the beginning of me coming back to YouTube, I guess. I already said it, but I am planning to make a mental health series. I also want to make some college series just for my experiences and any help I can give to anybody. I think that these videos are so beneficial to people who need it. So thank you guys for listening and I will see you in my next video. Bye.